And you asked if Anki are enough for step one. Anki is a waste of fucking time if you are close to your exam. Okay, like there is a time and place for Anki. If you're in first year medicine, great, use Anki. If you are in second year medicine and you are within six months of the USMLE, I strongly caution the use of Anki because it requires so much time while that time can be used more effectively to just doing more QBank questions. Okay, so, and also the NBMEs. That's a long discussion in of itself. I talked about that a little bit in the last clip that you need to know NBMEs 20 through 30 before going into the step one. Obviously 25 through 30 are online right now, but if you're further out from your exam, you need to memorize forms 20 through 30. That's 2200 questions. That's a QBank, okay? You're gonna screenshot your incorrects from those forms into a Word document, save it as a PDF, and then you're gonna review that master PDF leading up to your exam, in addition to saturating yourself out by assiduously and repetitively reviewing the corrects from forms 20 through 30. Okay, so you got your incorrect PDF, your PDF of incorrects, and then you can max out by memorizing the correct questions from the 20 from forms 20 through 30. This saves you time, okay? So rather than sitting in your room doing Anki cards trying to memorize random points, okay, you need to just literally sit with the NBME exams and say, this is the question, this is the answer. This is the question, this is the answer. You're asking me how to get your score up. That's how you do it, okay? Maybe it doesn't sound typical. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it's not what people have been telling you. It's what's gonna get your score up the most, okay? Run people through a Skype session with me, they're often shocked at what actually is gonna improve their score the most, okay? So the exam, the language of the exam is the NBME questions. The USMLE is the NBMEs, okay? So you memorize forms 20 through 30, and then when you sit the actual step one, it's just going to be a hypothetical NBME 31 and a half, uh, right? Just three halves length-ish, and it's just superimposed in a UWorld appearing interface. The real exam is not UWorld, the real exam is not AMBOSS, the real exam is not RX, the real exam is the NBME questions. So the NBME, your question was, are, you, are my PDFs and Anki enough for step one? Uh, the answer is no. You need to memorize forms 20 through 30. If you've spent at least a month and a half hardcore going through forms 20 through 30 and you've memorized my PDFs from my site, and you have generally, your scores are in a pretty decent spot, then we can uh, say you've done enough. The role of QBank is more as filler. So UWorld, for instance, let's say you're five months out and you say, well, I'm just supposed to start with the NBMEs right now. We would actually, we would, it's never cookie cutter for every student, but we would have you use QBanks as filler, as buffer to fill in just your time You'd be doing UWorld, 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 sort of knocking it out. And then as you get closer, it's like, well, we've really got to change gears so you're memorizing the NBMEs, okay? We could have you sit an occasional NBME further out from your exam to gauge your score. We could. It's a waste of, of, of uh, an assessment, in my view, okay? Because if you're far out, why are you wasting the NBME questions? However, we still want you to take them far enough out where you can you have adequate time to learn that material okay so we don't want you just sitting like forms 25 through 30 all within like six days of the exam ideally if you come to me a month and a half out we would say okay like we're gonna have you go through forms 20 through 24 you're gonna memorize those hardcore we're gonna give you for instance three days per exam you're gonna sit the exam memorize your incorrects you're literally just gonna sit and do nothing but memorize those exams, like one per every three days as an example. That's preparing you for 25 through 30. And then we might we look we might look at your schedule, assess how you're able to prepare your learning style. I would have you go through my PDFs as well. Then we have you sit 25 through 30. Okay? So it really depends on how far out you are from the exam as well. But Anki is a big time waster if you are close to your exam. Not a good resource to use close to your exam. Even if you have difficulty memorizing, you have to just sit and get over it 
and become accustomed to just feeling slightly uncomfortable with moving on. Okay, Anki has a time and place. It's early in your prep uh, if you're far away from the exam. Okay, I'm obviously going to make more content. You know the deal. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.